amazing, amazing garden wheels. Wow, this is an adventurous trip. You can see these big holes down in here. And in case if you have fear of heights, I will not recommend you much. Hi guys, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I stand near this uh, Alod Gray Cricket Stadium and the view of Tura is, isn't it amazing? So we are heading towards Selawari and uh, are going to explore this place with MJ. And today we are taking one of this uh, route which is via Edinburgh. So let's go ahead and see how our day goes. <laughs> You can see Dura TV Tower and we'll be now heading towards the hill on this side that's called Rangira. This place is under construction at the moment and this place is always under construction but it's so much better if you can see the hill. Yeah, now you can see. So that's the hill uh, that we'll be heading towards and Selawari is just below that valley that you can see. Sunsets from this place is really to die for and there aren't too many houses around this place as the landscape is really steep and I believe does not support too much of residential construction unless you want to have a bamboo house this place looks like bali oh. this is the only patch of road that's under construction at this moment okay looks like the drainage part is done at least this, this far and now we are going to climb up hill heading towards Zengi Songutal look at this elevation <laughs> so we are almost going to reach this Asibra junction and then we will head towards Selawari. This is the road that comes from Rokman Sumata, which is uh, from MP Stadium. And we came via Edenbari, which is a longer route, but it's the prettiest. So let me just pause here quickly and show you the road. The Asibra Junction view, and this is the water tank. So you will have to take the right and head on this. Pacha Road. So I'm going to try to cover as many beautiful places in and around Selawari. So just so you know, Selawari is about uh, 6 kilometers from MP Stadium in Tura. And if you come via Edinburgh, then it's going to take a slightly longer time. So here we are at Selawari Bridge. So this is where Ringi Songutal ends and this is the beautiful river Ganol. Help she come Okay, so I have Parnas. Parnas, hi Ranbo. Camera. <laughs> yeah, so he's accompanying me today because he's a local here and can really help you to take around this place. So the river literally overflows, but now since it's not the peak of rainy season, this is how it looks. Whenever you come, please ensure that you take your beer bottles and whatever shit you eat in these plastic wrappers. 
just see how much you have polluted the place so if you want to come here please ensure that you do but also take your trash back so this is the pool where you can easily you know enjoy your swim and those folks out there on the other side of the river are enjoying their time The place is really scenic and I hope you are enjoying this place. This place in fact is closer than Nogam. So if you want to have some quality time with your family and friends, do come by. It's perfect time any time of the year. And now we are going to cross over. Oh, I'm sweating really profusely and I'm not sure if my voice sounds very energetic at the moment the heat is really uh, what do you say sucking in all your energy but the sound of water really is calming to an extent this place is called Dodinangri in case if you come to this side you'll get to know more about this amazing place a lot of people in Tura have not yet come this side. So I will request you all to come and explore this side, which is equally as scenic as Chibagre. So now we are going to take a ride. And if you take this road and continue, you know, you can reach Babadam. So this is the place where you have to buy tickets four wheeler 50 bucks three wheeler that is auto rickshaw for 30 rupees and for two wheeler it is 20. Ooh, so we are entering on weekends people really flock out here to especially the ones you know who enjoy dirt biking or uh, you know even driving so there is a track out here in case if you are ever interested to try out some kind of adventurous moto sports then please come over here uh, I guess there is a rally that's coming up soon this month well I'll keep you posted about the date so watch it on my Instagram and my Instagram is also called Snigdas Bioscope. So in case if you are interested, you know, to know more about what I do generally, which is what I keep sharing majority of the time. That's our football field. Ooh. This place is oh, so calm and serene. And you can't hear anything but silence so that's the dirt track that you have i'm just showing you from this side whatever i can see not really interested to go at the moment but that's this is where all the rallies happen okay unlike chivagri you have these concrete what do you call it? benches oh. just trying to be careful oh this place is really nice probably we should enjoy some or organize some kind of a picnic like I said Please come, enjoy the place, but at least don't litter it, man. Looks so disgusting. Plastics everywhere. This is a jungle and this is your homeland. You know, nobody is going to come and clean it for you. Unless you want to keep it clean and ask people from the outside to travel. Yeah, so let's keep our place clean.
Okay, so now I and Parnash are just going to walk along the river bank and show you the fish, fish sanctuary. This is the first pool in this area and uh, it's called Rung Quarry. There are many upstream. So this is basically a community based pool and it's maintained by the villagers and uh, the local species that you get in this area are preserved. So this is one of the ideal ways to educate your kids about, uh, you know, maintaining ecosystem as well as keeping them, you know, or what do you say, preserved for the next generation to see what and all type of species you have. So. We'll just walk further now. It's damn hot, I must say. Okay, so some boys are fishing out here. Angling is allowed with permission. Look at that. Look at that hill man on top. Haha, <laughs> it's a very steep hill, I should say. And the plants or and trees are really holding it strong. So we'll just walk upstream further. So just about 100 meters from the previous wari or pond, I can't say it's a pond, I could say sanctuary. We have the wing sack, no? We sack. We sack wari. Yeah, this is we sack wari. The water looks significantly calm here, and I'm sure we can enjoy a good dip here on a hot summer day. Today I did not bring clothes, and like you all know, I came on a motorcycle, so don't have plans actually but maybe we will cover some trip with our friends just drink eat and swim and this is the last month when we can take a dip in this water as it's going to be really cold so i'm going to talk really soft now a lot of fishes Especially Mashir. Guys, just look at the view. house here you have another pool which is coming up and it is called wrong my wrong wrong chak wrong chak wari wrong chak okay wrong chak oh wrong 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 chak ni min ma The water is really fast in this side and I'm sure it makes a wonderful place for Mashir. Ooh, they love fast water. Danny, Gotham, missing you. Come soon. 
tutura This reminds me of our beautiful days in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu when you used to travel a lot for fishing Woo! and there you go, you have the beautiful Can you see the bamboo bridge, hanging bridge? Let me just zoom in And you can see those ladies passing with cork or basically a basket tied uh, you know carrying it on their back and there is a rope that ties on their head I don't know if I explained it too well but I think you can understand so this is really fast here Okay, so we'll head on the other side and move further. So just so you know, the villagers still have to use a very primitive mode of communication because there are no roads or bridges that crosses over on this side of the river. And that bridge from where we came, right, the Selawari, that not actually a bridge, but a dam sort of a thing. So, uh, uh, I'm just trying to be careful while walking on these rocks. Yeah, so that's the only bridge and in case if it rains hard, you cannot, you know, basically travel. It's a beautiful insect. So this is how the place looks. This place is, this place really has some fishes. I just saw some in action just now and just ran. I have to be a little careful while walking here because there is still slush, I should say, and might skid. See, like I thought so. Okay, I'm going to turn and walk from this side. Parnash has walked ahead of me and in case if you are interested to come to this place if you haven't yet drop in your comments or direct message me on instagram so that i can help you to navigate and in case if you need any help i'm going to ask parnash or someone from the village to help you uh, and guide you to this amazing place my Saturday is going really well, I should say. And I and Parnash are just going to sit down here, probably take rest. Ooh, amazing. Amazing, amazing gargoyles. If you are an adventurous person, these are the places you can come to. that action <laughs> even if you are tempted to fish here please don't the fine seems to be really heavy My pristine Garu Hills, not so pristine anymore with all this trash. Just see. Who the hell is going to throw these kacharas for you, yeah? If you could carry those, you know, when they are fully filled, you can only understand. And I'm sure it is easier to carry back. There is a huge dustbin provided near MP Stadium, you could just throw them there before you head home. Ah, but no, you enjoy being the saddest, ah, throwing kachara everywhere.
Okay, so we reached the hanging bridge. Guys, you can see it behind me. So we'll just cross over and then come back and take the road there from where we came, but not the similar route. So shall we check out this hanging bridge? Are you game? So the posts are made with concrete, as you can see. And this is how it looks. They wove it with, uh, you can see they have woven with bamboo, I can see. Iron. I guess those are those aluminium rod. Wow. This is an adventurous trip. You can see these big holes down in here. And in case if you have fear of heights, I will not recommend you much but this is how the place looks from top if you were if you remember those women carrying those huge you know what you call cock had uh, crossed over from here I just hope my phone don't slip and it's really slanting onto this side so just trying to keep myself balanced and go as easy as possible yeah I'm not gonna do any tricks now just cross over this is how it looks downstream and that's how it looks upstream and I'm on this bridge now. What an adventurous weekend. Yeah, so hold tight. The condition is much better than the other places that I have seen except for a few places where it needs little maintenance. Yeah, don't try to rush, otherwise it, you can really feel the motion. And since I'm somewhere in the middle now, there's no turning back. Haha, -ha. I'm almost there. Yeah, so don't try to run, I think. <sighs> Yeah, what was I about to say? Yeah, I think there's this feeling that gets kicked in where you feel like, you know, walking faster on this. I guess that's due to the motion. So I have to be really careful and cautious <laughs> as I cross over to the center of this Yeah, I guess this should have been a little wider, but that's fine. I made it. I'm just going to cross over again. Ah, I hope you're enjoying. Ah, I didn't think that I'll come so far. And why not cross this place, right? Hmm. So I hope you can see the bridge on my shades. And I'm crossing back <laughs> not scared exactly but just wondering if my left hand will do a better work because it's slightly slanted towards the right yeah and I'm trying to lean towards no yeah I think I should not be scared You have to look down parallelly, ensure that your body isn't tilting too much. Yeah, I'm just trying to grab on both sides with my little finger.
<laughs> I should have got my GoPro. Yeah, this is the place where it gets really tilted and there are gaps between those. <laughs> yes, I'm almost there. Just <sighs> trying to be patient. Not scared exactly, but because there's a camera in my hand and there are no straps. <sighs> That's the bridge. There's one place which is kind of really bad here. Oof. This place is really hot and humid. Ah, I made it. I hope you are enjoying this video i know i'm saying it again because i am enjoying covering or doing a vlog after a really long time and these kind of bridges are required you know still but i hope the government will also provide some solid what do you say rcc bridges for people to navigate easily between these villages in Tura and uh, that's it for now so I'm going to turn the camera and head home Oof. this place is quite easily navigable I guess except that patch from Asibra bridge till the Selawari bridge or oh, Absuti. And you can come down till that junction, carry your things and bring it back once you finish your picnic. Oh, can't wait. Mai? Tua? So just arrive at this junction of uh, Gongrongre, Dodinangre and Dalmagre so I hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, I'm going to explore this beautiful village called Dalmagre soon so keep following me on my Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to the channel I hope you have a great rest of the week so see you soon